so we've been on the trail now for about a mile, a little over a mile, and uh, we'll be climbing the White Rocks area here uh, pretty soon. I remember this from uh, last year. It was pretty cool. Um, I guess this may be an old homestead. Uh, some some old relics of maybe farm equipment or something up here. Not sure. It looks like perhaps a piece of a plow. Uh, pretty cool though. Not going to climb up there, but maybe that was a maybe someone lived here a long time ago. Uh, There's a pretty nice river or brook flowing right between right beneath us. So uh, certainly would be a good place. All right. Well. We got, a little, got out a little bit later than normal uh, this morning. Didn't get out till about 8.30, um, 8.45, but uh, should be okay. Uh, just everything was really wet this morning. Just slows things down a little bit, but um, it's a beautiful morning though. Hopefully the sun will come out and start drying things up. I've got some wet stuff in my pack. Hopefully get a good spot for lunch to kind of air things out a little bit. But we're going to keep pushing on. I don't think there'll be anything to look at until we get to top of uh, White Rocks, but uh, we'll check in there. All right, so I've been at it for a little bit, a couple hours uh, getting up here. It's been uh, pretty, pretty much climbing the whole two hours today. Just some, some, some gradual, some a little more intense, but uh, this is a pretty cool area right here. It's just beautiful. Look at that. And you can smell it. Getting pretty close to this rock garden, so we'll check in there. All right, so we're coming into the White Rocks area. See this collection of Cairns here. Pretty cool. I heard someone had knocked a bunch of them down, but it looks like some of them are still standing. Or, yeah, yeah, it's pretty beat up. Last year, if you remember from my videos, this was uh, more significant. All right, coming on up to Bully Brook. Beautiful spot here. We'll cross this here in another minute or so and we'll stop and get some water and take a little break. Uh, not really much of a break, just some water and take a look at the water. I'll give you a shot when we get to the other side. It looks uh, a little bit easier to see. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, spent this afternoon uh, going up and over Bear Mountain at about 2,300 feet. Um, not too bad. I mean, it was a about 1,100 foot climb um, in about over about two miles. So not too bad. Uh, pretty steady. Um, so this is what we're thinking about doing here. Uh, hooked up with a couple of uh, uh, AT through hikers. And uh, we're thinking about going to the road, hiking through to the road, put us at about, that'll put us at about 12 miles for today, 12 and a half miles. Uh, I forget the name of the road up here, but anyway, right before Killington, uh, at Clarendon Gorge, Clarendon Gorge, um, I think is what it's called. But, um, catching the bus into the Yellow Deli in Rutland, getting up early. Uh, taking the bus back out to the trailhead, slack packing the 18 miles over Killington up to in at the Long Trail and uh, busing back into the Yellow Deli. That'll uh, allow me to get ahead about, um, that'll allow me to get ahead for about a day uh, to be able to knock out 18 tomorrow. No way I'll be able to do that with a full pack on going up over Killington. So right now that looks like what, that, uh, what the plan may be. 
um, was planning to go in to Rutland um, in like three days. So, uh, sorry about the sun, but we'll be in the shade here in a second. Um, so you can see how that kind of would be an advantage, make up a little bit for the slow start. Um, not a slower start than I thought, but just a slow start because it was the first week out last week. All right, feeling pretty good today. Uh, I kind of like that idea. Uh, bus, uh, the bus will be crossing that road, excuse me, bus will be crossing that road at about 5.15 and then won't cross again until after seven o'clock. So we're trying to beat it uh, to, the, to the road um, and we'll see if we can get there. All right, I'll check in in a little bit. Made it to Claritin Gorge. Let's take a look. Oh. So yeah, they were trying to find, you know, they were on neutral ground out here in the woods trying to find this. Excuse me. Are you going across? Yeah. Oh, this is hot. People swimming down there. All right, you have to forgive my breathing. Just be going straight up here until we hit the couple switchbacks. Today we're uh, decided to slack pack, as I mentioned yesterday. So I'm just carrying a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle school backpack right now with a little food and a water filter. Uh, but um, this will be definitely the toughest climbing day so far on the trip. Um, so I'll be checking in as we get closer to the top. Those are the trails looking like I'm in Killington. Okay, so we're within uh, point two of the uh, summit of Killington. The story on Killington is this. The first climb out of uh, Clarendon Gorge from Route 103, much tougher than the 2,000 foot climb uh, up Killington from Governor Clement uh, Shelter. So, beautiful climb. Uh, terrain is beautiful, lots of routes, but uh, man, it's well worth it. I mean, the scenery. Just the feel in the air, the scent of the trees. Beautiful day of climbing. Of course, we're slack packing a day. That makes it nice, too. I'll talk a little bit about that at the end of the day in the wrap-up uh, on how we did that and, and so forth. But um, highly recommend it if you get a chance to do it. And it's really easy to do here for this 18-mile uh, stretch that we're putting in today. Um, I will wait uh, to to turn this on again when we get to the top. Now when you get to the top here of Killington to actually get to the peak, it's a point two uh, side trail. So I understand that's a pretty serious scramble up some rocks. So we'll try to take a look at that when we get there. All right, see you soon. So just a quick look at the Killington Spur. <laughs> this is it right here, this is the trail. That's pretty much straight up the grade. You can see uh, Thumper up there. I don't know what kind of birds they are. I know, who knows?
All right, well, good morning. It's uh, Friday morning. Um, kind of lost track of days, but uh, I think this may be day, it's a day 11 or day 12. I uh, just wanted to give a recap from yesterday. I ended the day yesterday uh, kind of on a downhill sprint to get to the, uh, get to the bus on time. Uh, and so I didn't really do a recap yesterday, but I just wanted to kind of get, bring us up to speed this morning on what we did yesterday. Uh, so I hiked yesterday with uh, two AT through hikers, uh, Thumper and Sterling. And we had planned, uh, made this plan the day before uh, where we came into the Yellow Deli um, on Wednesday afternoon. Uh, woke up yesterday morning, uh, had breakfast, got a shuttle out to Vermont 103. Claren and Gorge area uh, and slack packed the 18 miles uh, to US 4 taking us over uh, Killington uh, long day uh, great great day of hiking there was uh, some tough tough climbing in there um, however uh, so glad I put in that time uh, I'm feeling it a little bit this morning feet are sore knees are sore uh, but today is a plan zero so a, a good day to do it uh, yesterday uh, they'll be going on their way <clears throat> and continuing on today uh, tomorrow I'll hit the trail again and I'll be moving uh, northbound uh, beginning right around where the AT and the um, and the LT split off uh, so um, I'll be heading uh, looking to do about 13 a day now uh, for the for the rest of the trip hit the 100 mile mark yesterday and then finished up around 104 Point five. So I'm looking at about 168 miles left. So uh, looking to do 13, 13 and a half miles a day. We'll see how that goes. Terrain gets uh, a little terrain. tougher in the north. Uh, and so we'll kind of be prepared for that. Um, not having quite worked out rest days and zeros or nearos. Uh, but that is something I'm going to do today. Do a little editing of video today. A lot of sitting on my butt today. Got to run to the post office, pick up a package. Uh, so there are a few chores I need to do today, but a lot of resting. Um, and uh, been enjoying um, enjoying the Yellow Deli. Um, man, I know there's a ton out there on the internet about the Yellow Deli, and you can't get into a hiker forum about Vermont without some discussion at length uh, about the Yellow Deli. All I can say is my experience has been nothing but positive. A great, clean hostel, fantastic food. They treat you right. Uh, no kind of recruiting or anything like that going on. Uh, so it's been, it's been an awesome experience. What a great, uh, a great time here. A lot of hikers in here. Uh, and I think everyone is having a similar experience. Um, so I'm going to enjoy the rest of today. Uh, and we will hit the trail again tomorrow. I think I'm going to wrap up. I think this may be a little longer video going to wrap up, I think three days in this video. So we'll call this, uh, the end of, uh, episode, I believe four or five, um, but we'll be editing those videos and releasing them over the next uh, few days. So uh, we'll we'll see you on the trail tomorrow. Uh, looking forward to start uh, start the start heading towards the Canadian border. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.